I'd like to show you how to do a decorating technique that I call sodium silicate stretch. What you need is some sodium silicate, a brush, and something to dry it with. What I have here is an old hair dryer. That works fine. Just takes longer. Some potters will use a heat gun. Gets very hot. You have to be careful how you put it down. Be careful about the electricity and the water, of course. Heat guns work really well. Also, a torch works really well. Again, you've got to be careful with it. I could throw it right on the wheel head, but I want to be able to pick it up. I also don't want that sodium silicate getting on my wheel head. So I'm going to use a bat. I've got pins already in the wheel. Now, remember, always take these pins out if you're not going to be throwing on bats. Because you could really hurt your hand. You don't know they're there as, you're, as it's spinning around. Your hand could connect to it. So I'm going to put the bat on. Now, sometimes these bats are slightly warped. If it doesn't sit flat, just flip it. And it will slip, sit flat on the other side. This is a masonite bat. If it's a porous bat, make sure you dampen it lightly before you put your clay on. Because you're going to be lifting up, and if the bat is porous, it could release on you as you're lifting. It's happened to me. As you're lifting a pot, you're getting this nice tall piece up, and a pot comes off, off the bat. So damp it a little bit to get it stuck. Just start by throwing the basic cylinder. But you're going to be forming this from the inside out. I want to get as much of this out of this clay as possible. So I'm going almost down to the bat. I'm leaving a quarter of an inch. Now if you're not sure, you can use your thumb as a guide and your middle finger and you get a feel for it. Or you can poke it. Bring your finger down and I've got a quarter of an inch. Lots of water when you're centering. Lots of water when you're opening. Hands are in. And close your hand. Now, listen. That bat is old. It's not hanging on to those pins really well. And if I just kept on being really tense, it would be a little off center. If that happens to you, just before you let go, relax. It goes back on center. So I'm going to smooth and compress the bottom. And since this is going to be a closed form, a form that comes in on itself, I want to make sure that I've compressed and smoothed the bottom before I close it. Because I won't be able to reach down into that bottom to do this. I'm going to go from the center to the outside edge. That levels it out, too. You may want to put that little mark of the potter in. Just spin it around. Okay. Push in. Hold still. Lift up. Relax the top. Let go. More pressure on the outside, so it goes in. More control. First pull, normal, even pressure all the way through. 
Later on, I'm going to leave it a little bit thicker at the top. So I'm going to come in, push in, push out, and lift. I relaxed up in this top third to leave this bit of clay a little bit thicker for the shoulder and for the neck. Let's do one more pull. Relaxing about here. And straightening out the lip. Getting all the water out of the inside. I'm going to straighten and rib off that slip from the outside. So take your wooden rib, finger on the inside, and just go on down, get all that slip off. This is important because you want that sodium silicate to dry on the surface. my cylinder. It's plastic clay on the outside now. So now what you want to do is give it a couple coats of sodium silicate. Now sodium silicate is also known as water glass. It's been used in the past to seal eggs. It puts like a shell on the outside. Also be careful when you open the jar it dries and can actually cut you, it's so sharp. But it's kind of a honey consistency. See, it's, it's a little bit thinner than honey, but it's, that's the consistency. And now, just take it. Now, I'm not going to do it on the very top because I want to continue working that. I just want to stretch from here down, like I did with this pot. You can see. The sodium silicate was from here down. Now you may get some clay scraps with sodium silicate in it. It won't hurt it. Sodium is a flux. Silica is a glass former. It'll be fine with the clay. Okay, I've given it like two coats, maybe one more, just for good measure. Make sure I've got a bunch of sodium silicate on it. I'll sponge off the drips down at the bottom. Now, I have to dry that. Right now it's sticky and wet. So, take your heat gun, your hair dryer, your torch. And, and dry it. So here we go. Have the wheels spinning so you don't just have the gun in one place for an extended period of time because that can crack the piece. That can warp the piece. That can dry a spot on the piece. So I'm going to get this going and just as it's going around I'm going to gradually move up and down and dry out that put a skin on it. You can check it as you're going. It's getting a little bit tacky. Get some of those drips off the bottom there. Notice I'm not going above the line of the sodium silicate. I don't want this area to dry here. I want to keep that plastic. 
I just want to dry the sodium silicate and create a shell. Okay, it's got a shell on the outside. It's hard to, hard to the touch. Now, if you do it too soon, you'll get little crackles like this. If you get it nice and hard and have a nice, nice coat of the sodium silicate, when you stretch it, you'll get the large crackles. You can also make marks through the sodium silicate, and that would create lines like this. Lots of possibilities. So I'm going to test it out by starting to stretch it a little bit. I'm going to use my rib. I'm just going to wet the top edge so my hand slides. And the rib's going to go down where the sodium silicate is, right about here. So I'm going down, and I'm going to gently place it on the form and then push. Now this is when you find out if you've dried it enough or put enough sodium silicate on it. And the way to check it, see I'm stretching it like a balloon right now, is to simply turn it off. Now that's a very light, 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 light crackle. I'm going to dry it a little bit longer. So it's hard on the outside now. It's still wet on the inside, so I'm going to really push this out now. That's sodium silicate stretch. Now I'll finish off the pot. I'll stretch the shoulder up a little bit more. So I'm just going to wet the shoulder, neck, and like and bring the neck in. little tiny bit of water. I like to ha put lines that delineate changes. Also, when I go to glaze this, if I want to just leave this bare clay and possibly stain it, if I put a line, it'll be much easier to make that change of direction, change of glaze to raw clay. Trim the bottom, put a little deeper line there. Back with the flat side and refine that a little bit. Undercut it a little bit. And Mark that transition. Now, before you take this off, make sure you wire cut it.
You could leave it on the bat, but run the wire under it first before taking it off. Because if you don't, clay starts shrinking. It's already started to shrink. As it dries, it'll shrink. If it's stuck to the bat, it'll grab there and can shrink unevenly and crack the bottom. So make sure you cut it first. So that's the sodium silicate stretch. Thank you.